Hi, it's Kuli Uncle here again. Welcome back. As September is about to end, which means the next season is about to start. And in the upcoming autumn season, there's quite a lot of anime that I'm actually interested. So I thought I would share that what actually caught my eyes and I think I'm going to watch. And hopefully that will hit your spot as well. So let's start with sequels. So we got like Mushoku Tensei season 2. So the first season was broadcasting back in January. At first I didn't expect much and I just thought that it would be some another isekai anime. But after watching the first episode, it totally changed my mind. As the quality of the animation, sound and the pace of storytelling is really well done. And just by watching this trailer, I do expect good things is going to come by the second season. So I'm definitely going to watch it. Again, the first season was uh, broadcasting back in January. The music was done by Sawano, which is uh, kind of caught my eyes in the first place. And then the feature was actually quite well done as well. And the way that how they portray racism and the class difference was what kept me watching it. And after watching the shocking ending on season 1, I'm definitely interested to find out what is going to happen in season 2. So the first season of Yusekai Shokuto was like broadcast back in September 2017 and to me it was very unique as every episode have like different story about different people or even creature at times will go to Nekoya which is the restaurants once every week to order their favorite dishes that's not in their world and occasionally you get quite a few like heartwarming story as well so it was very fun to watch, to see different characters from completely different background to enjoying their food in one place. Which feels kind of mismatched, but at the same time, I can accept all the bullshit that just because it's this anime. So I'm actually really looking for this food porn anime season 2. From now on, we got some completely new anime. First we got Platinum N. Just like the trailer is saying, it's from the team that from uh, Death Note and Bakuman, which started back in 2015 as manga. And it's actually sold really well. Just based on that, it's already got my interest. And from a brief glance, it looks like some non-evil Yagami light who doesn't want to kill anyone, but then suddenly he got this power and then like, turns into some uh, Kamen Rider shit and fight against people who have the same power. So I do think it has like quite a lot of potential, so I think I'll definitely give it a go. Senpai ga Usai Kohai no Hanashi is a four panel manga series that's still being published on Twitter, which mainly is a short comedy with a lot of heartwarming moments. So since this is a four panel manga, I'm actually wondering how this story is going to play out uh, in the anime adaptation. Even so, I'm really looking forward to it as I like all the characters that are in the show. It's something that I'm always looking forward to when I log into Twitter. Because whenever I read it, it just makes me happy. So I assume that the anime is going to do the same thing to me, so I'm definitely going to watch it. Next we got Sakugan. It's actually one of my most looking forward anime to the next season. It just come across my eyes while I was checking the trailer for next season. And after I watch the trailer and I find out that there is a lot of good creators that are actually behind the scene. And a lot of top class voice actors were being cast in the show as well. And the story is set in some post-apocalyptic world about the father and daughter that try to like set out an adventure to, to visit the place that in her memory. And during the adventure, there's a lot of stuff is going to happen from the trailer. It's kind of seen that a lot of people dying as well and stuff like that. It kind of looks kind of grim and real. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. And I think it has a really good potential to become the best anime for next season. Komisawa Komisho is uh, about a girl that who dreams to make friends with 100 people, but uh, because of her communication disorder, 
she found it really hard to do it. And one day, the main character kind of discovered that and wants to help her to achieve her dream. Not that I know this story well, but like just by the trailer, it seems like there's a lot of like character have unique personality and the difference between uh, what Komi-san actually wants and how she acts is just so different. I just find her really cute as a character. So I think this is going to be a very heartwarming, sweet love comedy that is going to be coming up in next season. Therefore, I'm going to definitely give it a shot and I actually have high hopes for it. Should be quite a fun watch. And we got Osama Rankingu here. At a first glance, I didn't really think that I would be interested in it because it's got quite a lot of um, kids anime design. But after I watched the trailer, I actually totally changed my mind and think he has the potential to become one of the best anime for this season. So the story is, is about uh, Boji, who is the main character, who is a child between two titans, but he's uh, basically deaf and he can't really speak and as a son of titans and he's actually quite petite and even have a hard time to swing some little sword but even so he still strives to be a king and he met a creature named Kage who is a descendant from an assassin clan and Kage is the only character that who can understand Boji well and the story begins from there since the trailer actually have English subtitle as well, I do urge people to actually give it a shot on the trailer, which I'll link it up on the top corner. But yeah, I have really good feelings about it, so I'm looking forward to it. Skiton Laikano Nosferatu is an anime set after World War II. Like in the real world, in the post-war era, the Soviet and US are pushing the space program which is the, what this anime is based on, just in an alternative world. But instead of using human to be the first human to like go in space as a test subject, they use a vampire instead. At first I actually wasn't so interested, until I saw the voice actor for Elena is Hayashibara Megumi, who is a legendary voice actor since the late 80s, from female Lama to Ayala Mile, and loads and loads of popular characters. Just this single fact already made me interested in the show. Then I quickly check out the trailer and I was just like, okay, I'm definitely gonna give it a go. Since I don't know the story too much, I'm not gonna hard sell it too much. So I'm just gonna link the uh, trailer on the top corner so that you can watch it yourself and judge it yourself. All I'm saying that is just like, I'm interested in it and I think I will watch it. Yes, very biased. And we got Gakuten Sekai no Denji Sojo. I have to say, even after reading what's it about, I still can't really make out what it's really about. Yeah, sure, I do understand it's just like, yeah, some alternative world that like, appears in the real world, and then like, then you got Showa versus like Reiwa as well, and the culture as well. It's just like uh, the Showa culture, kind of imperialism, and versus like the anime culture as well. It is a bunch of nonsense, and it seems a bunch of nonsense, but. It looks cool, it seems cool, even though some of the character is very 90s, so it can be very silly but serious at times. That gives me a mashup culture thing, like Concrete Revolutio. And on top of that, you got Sugita Tomokatsu is like acting some weird character as well, which I'm sure that I'm gonna get some good laugh. So yeah, I'm sure that I'm gonna give it like at least 3 episodes and see how it's gonna go. And so far, just by watching both of the trailer that's been released, it seems good enough. Like the other one, I'm going to leave a link on the corner so that you can check it out yourself. I don't think it's for everyone, but I think I'll enjoy it. Well, 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 what can I say about Marble of Alternative? Until a few months ago, there is a teaser trailer. I just never think that this is going to ever make into anime. Even there is Marble of anime adaptation before, which was a side story. And before Alternative, there is Marble of Unlimited which was never get animated. So just from there and just like making alternative straight into anime was a little bit surprising. So I'm actually looking forward to this and I actually think potentially it might be really good. So for the people who never heard of Marble Lover before, it was originated as a Eroge 
then on Unlimited, uh, the main character, who is the same character on the Eroge, time slip into an alternative timeline. Then you got Beta, which is aliens that invading the world, and the population just drastically decreased. And to fight against Beta, humanity eventually developed tactical surface fighters to fight against them. And Marvel of the Alternative is actually set three years after Unlimited that the main character Takeru who was uh, died during the battle and time slipped back to three years ago and which he's the only one who knows about the future so he's going to join the army once again and using the memory and the experience from the previous loop and try to lead the humanity gaining victory against Beta and hope that he can go back to his original world the story is roughly about it but uh, with the anime adaptation nowadays, I don't expect any at all scene is gonna be in the anime. But what I can looking for is the battle scene and actually able to watch the story without actually playing the game, which might take you like good 30 hours. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it and quite sure I'm gonna watch the whole thing. So that's about all the anime that I'm looking forward to the most. But there's still some anime that I might actually watching. So I'm gonna briefly talk about it and quickly go over it before I end the video. So for Kaizoku Ozo, at first I actually were quite interested in it because the feature just looked quite stunning. But I watched it two episodes of an uh, early release and uh, I don't know man, the pace of the storytelling and the jokes in it is a bit cheesy. The, at the end of the second episode, there is something that I didn't expect, so I think I might give it a try. I hope it does get better. So, so I think I will give like a few episodes ago just to see how it is, but maybe, maybe not going to watch it through. Kyokai Senki is a new anime that made by Bandai Namco. Practically, it's just making a new series so that they can produce more uh, plastic model kit. And there was an early preview for the episode 1. Well, the feature is actually fine, but the uh, character design, not a big fan of it. And so is the mecha, it's just like, I'm not a big fan of it too. But I don't know why, for some reason, it kind of gave me a little bit of a Code Gears vibe. Like Japan is getting invaded and they split into a few different regions and the Japanese is like getting treated like a second class citizen getting oppressed and don't have a lot of rights so the main character is basically like uh, gathering all the parts and then um, build a robot and then eventually just like liberate Japanese people the plot is a bit standard but we'll see therefore I think I might give it a few episodes just to see how it goes and then decide that if I want to continue or not. So for Megaton Q Musashi, which is funded by Level 5, who is a game company. So there's going to be a game version of uh, the same title as well, which I think it roughly released at the same time. And for the trailer, it just looks like the main characters are living their life in a shelter without knowing Earth actually got destroyed already, which they find out really soon. And then they end up piloting this uh, giant mecha to try to fight against uh, the enemy and try to get Earth back to humanity. That's the basic plot. It doesn't sound really standard as well, but the battle scene seems seems pretty decent. Since it is an original product, so I guess no one really know how it's gonna be. But uh, since it's originally planned by Level 5, which they made a lot of like good products. So with the usual quality control, I can't think this will be too bad, so that's why I decided to give it a go. And who knows, it might surprise me. And turns out that it might be an actually good show. Well, that's about everything that caught on my eyes. But there's still a lot of upcoming shows as well. Who knows, there might be something that I missed and I didn't really find it interesting. But if I give it a try and I'm gonna find some new stuff as well. So I guess I give it in a month time. I might update and see what I'm actually still watching or what I'm dropped off as well. And for anyone that is watching this video, let me know what you think. Like there might be some shows that I didn't cover that you might be wanting to watch as well. And I might get some surprise. And that's about it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon.